Hi everyone, welcome back. So, let me get this working. We're gonna do something really exciting today. We are talking about adjectives. So what is an adjective? An adjective is a word that describes a noun, and we know that a noun is a person, a place, or a thing, and adjectives are words that describe nouns. So I have Poogie and Missy here today because I think that they're really wonderful to describe because um, there's lots of words we can use. So Poogie's right here. So Pookie, we know, is a noun. He's a person, a place, or a thing. I like to think he's a person. Um, and Pookie, he's very friendly. I can kiss him. He doesn't care. He's very nice. He's little. He's a small dog. Um, he has a brown head. He has white, short fur. He has little, um, small paws. Um, so these are all words that I can use to describe Pookie. So any words that I can use to describe him are adjectives. He's a noun. And when I talk about what color he is, how big or little he is, um, these are all words to describe him. Now, Missy's right here, too. Let me see if I can grab her. I don't know if she's going to like this very much. Hold on. Missy. Oh. She. There we go. I found her. Okay, so Missy is also a noun. She is a person, a place, or a thing. And there's a lot of words I can use to describe Missy, too. Missy, just like Pookie, is also very nice. I can kiss her all over her face. She doesn't care. I can pick her up. I can throw her in the air. She really wouldn't mind. So she's very nice, calm, gentle cat. She doesn't scratch. She doesn't bite. If you look at what color she is, she's brown. Um, she kind of has what's called a brindle coat, so it's brown and black. She has white. She has pretty gold eyes, and I don't know if you can see. She's probably not going to like this very much. She's not a skinny cat. She's kind of a chubby cat. And she's very furry and very soft and lovable. So these are all words I can use to describe my cat, Missy. So she is a noun, and all the words that I just used to describe her are adjectives. So there's, oh, she's gone. Bye, Missy. So there's a lot of different words that are adjectives. Um, colors are adjectives. So when I was describing Missy and Pookie's colors, white, brown, Missy has gold eyes, Pookie has brownish black eyes. Hi, Missy. Those are all, all those colors are adjectives. Um, size words, when I was saying Missy's kind of chubby, that, that size word chubby, that's an adjective. That's describing how big she is. When I said Pookie was little, that is a size word. That's saying how big Pookie is. Um, numbers can be adjectives. Pookie has four paws. That's a number describing how many paws he has. All of these are adjectives. So here's an example. The bitter lemon hung from the tree. Now Pooks. Which word in this sentence do you think is an adjective? The bitter lemon hung from the tree. Well, sometimes what I like to do when I'm trying to figure out what the adjective is in the sentence, I identify what the noun is first. I know nouns are people, places, and things, and I know adjectives describe those nouns, and that makes it really easy for me to figure out which one is the adjective. So the bitter lemon hung from the tree. Hmm, I can see that there are two nouns in this sentence. Lemon is a noun, that's a thing. And tree is a noun, that's a thing. Now there are no words in this sentence that describe tree, but there is one that describes lemon and that's bitter. Bitter is a word that talks about a taste that we experience when we have certain foods. And so I know that bitter is the adjective in the sentence. That word's describing the noun. If I wanted to make my sentence longer, I could add another adjective to describe tree. So I could say the green tree, the tall tree, the small tree, the um, lush tree. There's lots of different words I could use to describe the tree. So um, bitter is the adjective in this sentence. Okay, Pooks, you ready? Let's look at the next one. The bumpy frog sat on a leaf. Okay, Pookie. So we know the first thing that we should do is try to figure out what the noun is in the sentence because the adjective is going to describe a noun. So which ones are nouns in the sentence? Pookie says frog and leaf. That's correct. A frog is a person, place, or a thing, and a leaf is a person, place, or a thing. Now, there's no words that describe leaf in this sentence, but there is a word that describes the frog. What word do you think describes the frog? What was that? Pookie says bumpy, and he is totally correct. Bumpy is the adjective in the sentence. It's helping us describe our person, place, or thing frog. Very good, Pooks. Okay, let's look at the next one. I can't wait to eat this hot soup. So what do you guys think this time? First, I want you to identify the noun, the person, place, or thing inside this sentence. Which one do you think it is? Okay, Pookie told me his answer. I'm not going to say what he thought because I want you to get to the bottom of this one. 
Now I want you to think about what the adjective is in this sentence. Which word is describing the noun that you picked? Do you guys have the answer in your head? Pookie, you want to tell them? Pookie says hot and hot is correct. I can't wait to eat this hot soup. Soup is a noun. It is a thing. It's something that we can eat, something that we can pick up, something that we can feel. And hot is a word that is describing the soup. Temperature words are also adjectives. They tell us how hot or cold something is, and they're describing our nouns. So hot is the correct answer. Good job, Pooks. High five. High five. Good job. Okay, let's look at the next one. Disneyland is so fun. All right, so first I guys want you guys to think about what the noun is in this sentence. What is the person, place, or thing? And then decide, is there an adjective that is describing that noun? Did you get it? Pookie, what do you think? Pookie says Disneyland is the noun. That's correct. Disneyland is a place. We have a picture of Disneyland here. And fun is the adjective in this sentence. That's a word that's describing the place. There was a beautiful purple sunset. Okay, so this one is a little bit tricky. Um, a lot of people think that colors are often nouns. They think, oh, well, purple, that's a thing. But can you have a purple? No, you can't pick up and hold a purple. You can hold a purple twistable. You can hold a purple t-shirt, but you can't hold a purple. So in this sentence, sunset is the noun. And what do you guys think is the adjective that's describing the sunset? Oh, I tried to trick you, but I think Pookie figured it out. Pookie thinks that there's two adjectives. Do you guys see both adjectives? I hope you do. Okay, Pookie, what are the both adjectives in this sentence? There's two. Pookie says beautiful and purple are both adjectives in this sentence, and Pookie is correct, and I'm sure that you guys got that one too, and you were correct as well. Okay, let's look at the next one. Oh, that was it. So adjectives are words that describe nouns, so let's review. We know that an adjective is a word that describes a noun. A noun is a per person, a place, or a thing. Adjectives can be any words that describe nouns. They can be colors. They can be numbers. They can talk about the size. They can talk about temperature. There's lots of different adjectives. And adjectives make our sentences exciting. That's why Pookie and I love adjectives so much. Okay, so... Can you think of an adjective that you like? If you can, I want you to leave it in the comment below. One adjective that you think is cool. Pookie, what's your favorite adjective? Mm -hmm. Pookie says his favorite adjective is smelly. Okay, that's a good one. Smelly is definitely a good adjective. And let's see if Missy will come and say goodbye. She's right here at my feet. Hey, Missy. What is your favorite adjective? Do you have one? Do you have one? Missy says that gold is her favorite adjective because she has gold eyes. She also likes fluffy and she likes soft. Those are good ones. You thought of good adjectives, Missy and Pookie. So I hope you guys learned something about adjectives today. Don't forget, leave me a comment below with one adjective that you like. It can be any adjective in the entire world that you think is kind of fun and I want to hear all about it. And um, I'm going to be posting more videos on adjectives soon. So um, come back and check out my next video on adjectives. Okay, second graders, I'll see you later. Bye.